I'm Chris from Windows. And hey, you can do this. Because what I have here for you today is a little plugin called Purest Worm 2. Now the thing about this is it is a variation on a previous plugin that I made called Purest Worm. I was asked, can we have a sort of dry wet factor going on where it can be made more subtle? And that seems like a good idea. So what we've done is taken Purest Warm, which only has a switch and applies a uh, saturation curve to only one side or the other of the waveform. And now we have one with two sliders, both of which are dry wet controls. So the way Purest Warm works is this. It is a simple saturation plugin, and it's very gentle sounding. And you will use the two sliders. You will use the two sliders to adjust the balance of the waveform that you're working on. It might be suitable for things like basses, and you can use it to dial in one side or the other of a bass or something that's taking up a lot of room. I've got another plugin in the works that's going to go even farther in this direction, but that's for another day. For now, Purest Warm is a very simple and approachable plugin, and you should be able to take it a little bit beyond what the previous Purest Warm was all about, because that one just switched back and forth between a effect being applied at full strength. And the new version of Purest Warm lets you do both of them at once and kind of balance between the two. Now this, as you might have noticed, is not my usual place. That's because I am uh, visiting my lady friend in British Columbia. So hopefully the aesthetic works for you. And uh, I am away from all of my stuff. Everything is all in storage now. And I have a pile of plugins to do, which don't require me being able to work in my studio, because again, the studio is in storage at the moment. But what we do have going forward for upcoming days, upcoming weeks, is another variation on Pure Storm, where we can do more interesting things with this sort of offset balanced thing. And AmpSims. Yep, that's right. I have the old AmpSims that I did back in the day brought up to date, given ultrasonic filtering so that they can work at the higher sample rates that I currently recommend for doing recording. And with the cab simulations that they came with built in. Now these aren't necessarily going to be everybody's favorite thing, but on the whole, they're a different sound than you might have already had, and you might just like them. So until that day, wish me luck while I am derping around up here in British Columbia, taking care of my lady friend, and Thanks for uh, supporting my Patreon and stuff. Because that's how I do all this. The plugins are happening because I've been able to work full time on them this entire time. And I have every intention of continuing that. So thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. <laughs>